This is the second time we've had the Electric Mobility Day. It's amazing. We have more than 180 participants today. Last year we had uh, 48. So we're growing well. We've got very nice government and industry and academic uh, representation from across Africa. So things are going well with presenting research and showing the impact that you can have with uh, applied research. I made an e-mobility launch in Stellenbosch and I'm blown away by the kind of research that has been done in reimagining the future in mobility. And I would like to encourage Stellenbosch, UCT and UWC to continue doing the work that they are doing in terms of reimagining the future. We're uh, basically glad to be part of this innovation. This has been quite a long time coming where we actually wanted to tie up with Varsities to actually put Varsity versus industry together. So we, we normally do the work and Varsity do the calculations. There was always this big gap. So just another uh, principle, if two parts of, of the party comes together, there's great achievement out of it. We together with the partners uh, Stellenbosch University, Ram Equipment and also Golden Arrow Bus Services creates a quadruple helix which bodes well for research and research uh, innovation development. This is part of our big, hairy, audacious goal that we have that by 2030, 30% of all passenger trips in the whole of Africa will be electric. When this was conceived uh, uh, 15 years ago, it seemed like it was impossible. But today, here we are seeing a concrete step going towards that. And actually, that big area of Desha's goal looks now achievable. The lab we're opening now is a research lab. We've been working on this for five years, but what's happened now is industrial engineering has given us a space. And in this space, we can get our hands dirty. We can move from simulation into actually making things and testing things, both uh, vehicle level and also on the electrical infrastructure level. Uh, so it's about retrofitting, building vehicles, testing, and this lab is supported and funded by the Western Cape government. Uh, GMT is funding the lab, and we are working in collaboration with UCT and UWC.